This is an A. Hey, it's Jason Care 22 here, and I am here to talk about Halo 4 and the weapon, not weapon, but armor specializations and mods. Basically, it has a 50 levels, and once you've advanced through the standard 50 levels, you will get the option to enlist in a specialization. You can choose the order in which you tackle unlock specializations, however. Once you select one, you must advance through it completely before enlisting in a separation specialization. Also, I have a link to this website somewhere around here. I don't know where. Probably top corner or top corner right there. One of those top corners, maybe. Okay, let's begin. This weapon, not weapon, but specialization is the Wet Walk specializations and this is basically what the armor shall look like and this is probably the emblems you'll get with this armor now as you can tell the different visor colors i think that one's old and that one not old but gold yeah that's gold and that one's blue and orange i'll show you that again blue and orange and here's a dmr weapon skin and what you get with this it does a number of things uh let's see it's all basically when someone sees you with Promethean Vision, basically, like typically, if you don't have this, you'll just if someone sees you with Promethean Vision, they'll just see like a wet body, and now they'll just see the outline of you instead of the wet part because you have this like what walk is basically kind of stealthy. And what else? Oh, and when like you're uh, let's see using what's it called uh assassinations they perform they'll faster when you do them and like if you if someone's wait i can't i don't know basically if you do assassination it's a lot slow basically that's it and that came with the wet work almost set wet work almost set variant and dmr skin you can tell the only difference is like the outline, the little, little like line, see that has that triangle. Doesn't have not triangle, but diamond or whatever. Doesn't have that. Has like some other little design on well, that one instead of that one. That's basically it. Variant, variant wise, this is the pioneer armor. As you can see, that's the variant. That's non-variant, and the armor. That's a, a visor color. Guess that's your visor. I really want to know how you could see out this, if you really had that helmet on. It'd be pretty hard to see. And visor colors is gold and silver blue. I don't, really don't see any blue in that, just saying. That's a plasma pistol weapon skin. And with this, okay. You'll basically get 10 points per kill in a game of experience. And now, with this, at the end of the game you'll get like more experience it doesn't like give you more experience at the, in the middle of the game it doesn't give you it only gives it at the if you play through the entire match with the armor that's what it'll give you so like you get all this X, X, XP if you play through the whole match with that armor on basically and you can't like uh not armor but like you know spe mod on whatever I really don't know and basically, you can't, like, switch specializations and play another one. Then at the end of the match, switch to that one so you get a double XP. You can't do that. Oh, and basically, also, when you're doing the whole specialization thing, like the armor mods, you have to, like, go through the whole 50 levels through, like, your armor. So I'd have to go through the whole 50 levels through Pioneer before I can do it the whole 50 level for wet walk armor that's what really, that's kind of what's the difference and this is the engineer armor as you can see basically what it will look like that's the armor color basically gold visor and pink purple and blue visor i think most of them all just have the gold visor that's the armor that's the armor variant. That's the emblems right there. And its abilities are. 
okay let's see Basically lets you know when the ordinance drop is coming down. That's all it does, just to let you know when the ordinance drop is coming down before anyone else. Oh, and also, this is the new weapon that they sh showed us too. It's called the Suppressor. It basically looks like a pla the Covenant Plasma Pleader, but for the Promethean, but Promethean version. I don't know what it will do, but it looks pretty cool. One thing I really like about the Methan weapons is just to see someone like disintegrate. I just can't wait to get the Methan weapon just watch someone disintegrate. That would just be so awesome. And this is the Trackle, the Trackle specialization. And that's the Almo. I have to tilt my laptop so you can like see it better. And that's what the visor colors look like. And that is the other weapon that we'll show in too, the bolt shot. You can see, yep, gold visor. I think all of them have gold visor. That's purple visor. Tracker set, armor set, tracker armor set variant, bolt shot weapon skin. Those are the emblems, basically. And this is what that armor does. It lets you, uh... Okay, so basically to do ordnance drop, you have to click left, down, and right, and choose the ordnance drop. Well, well, when you have the request in and hit up, you receive a new random selection choice. This alma mod doesn't have knowledge of what ordnance had previously, so while you're not guaranteed better choices, you are more likely to get the weapon you're good with or your favorite weapon if you did get it the first time around if you didn't get the first time around so I guess this like lets you when it randomizes it I guess it gives you better weapons this time or it'll like opens like a new menu that for only the tracker if you click the up on d-patch I didn't really get that I will just You'll just figure it out on you if you when you click the link. That should be on the top up there or the top up there. Basically just link to this. And here's the Wog almost set. Wog almost set right here. Wog almost set variant. Emblems. Gold visor. I guess orange red visor. What is it? Red orange silver visor. I was close. And here's the carbine weapon skin. And those were the emblems again. What you basically get with the Wogue is like if someone's shooting at you, this will let you like, and like you're zoomed in with the BR, DMR, sniper or something, so, someone shoots you, you get like unzoomed in. With this armor mod on, you can like stay zoomed in even after someone shoots you. So you'll probably do a better job at like uh, killing someone because you'll have good zoom. You all zoomed in while they're not, basically. This is again what the armor looks like. Pretty cool. And this is the armor mask, basically. And this is the stock or armor. And that's the emblems. That's the helmet. And that's the battle rifle. Weapon skin. And what this lets you do is it gives you an icon on your HUD to show the last person that killed you. So if someone, so like if you're playing like I don't know, capture the flag, one capture the flag. Okay, if someone tries to capture your flag, but you're defending and they kill you, you know exactly where they are. For like, it won't play it for like a whole long time, but probably like. A short little time for you to like get that person. It won't play through like the whole map, whole game. I mean, and what else? But the bad thing about it, <laughs> but the bad thing about it is, uh, is someone could like no, they know you're using it too. That's what it says, I guess. I'll hold that on something, whatever. It says you, they should be able to know if you're tracking them, I guess. 
Because, like, uh, this is the bad thing about this. They can, like, be in, uh, they could have you surrounded, and <laughs> the potion will be, like, standing there for you to come at them. And as soon as you do, you're just surrounded by a bunch of their team. That's basically how you could put, like, a trap. And sorry, I do say like a lot. I don't know why. I just say like a lot. And this is the Pathfinder, uh, armor set. As you can see, that's what the armor looks like. And that's the helmet. Wait, did I go over this? That was what this stalker one looked like. So if I went over it. But this is the Pathfinder. Bam. Assault rifle, assault rifle weapon skin. I just want to, like, do this for the Assault Rifle Weapon Skin, because that's what I normally use the Assault Rifle. I just like using it. It's like, basically, I'll keep shooting you, taking down most of your shield, and finally I'll just do a melee to finish you off. That's basically my plan. Or, like, if my ammo runs out and, like, I don't kill you, I'll just switch to my uh, Magnum and just finish you off that way. Basically, with this one, if you, uh, guns don't overheat as fast, like, there's normally when you're mounted on a warthog, or the way, if you're mounted on the warthog, or the way, like, let me do something. I might have to, like, do some on my TV real quick. Basically, if you're in a wrath or a warthog, the thing won't overheat as fast. It allows you to fire longer, basically. And if you have a detached turret, you'll want you'll move a lot faster. And I do like to grab the taunt sometimes. Like, basically, it's a good thing for custom games. So, like, if you play zombie maps, how you like to what, pick up, like, a taunt. Because, like... That's probably a good strong thing to hold zombies down. Pin down a taunt. And you can like move a lot faster with the taunt than doing zombie games and stuff like that. If they have that for custom games on Halo 4 like they did for Halo Reach. Not custom games, but for matchmaking. They'll probably have it for custom games just because all Halo games have infection, basically. Except for, I think Halo 1 didn't have it. I don't know if Halo 1 and Halo 2 has it, because I haven't played them in, like, a while. Now you have having a Halo 3 end up. And basically, it came with the Pathfinder Armour set, Pathfinder Armour set variant. And, even a little picture of the taunt right there. Oh, that was a weird sound my laptop just made. Okay, I was trying to figure out what I did. I just didn't hit the inner button. Yeah, I like that saw wife skin. And this is the op waiter skin. Basically, you'd walk together with the op waiter and the pathfinder. Because the op waiter, it basically, when uh, you're driving a vehicle. Uh, oh, cool, this is the last one, too. Last video, I went over my 15 minutes. But this video, I just went through it quickly. This op later, and it basically looks like this. It looks pretty cool. It looks. Uh, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, what? I'm getting off track here. That's the gold. Uh, uh, visor color. And that other one's orange and purple visor color. I think they may have it like. Because all these visor colors, I guess you can just do all the visor colors for everyone, basically, which would be kind of cool. And that's the Magnum skin. And this, if you're driving a vehicle, the effects of a plasma pistol, like, if you supercharge and it makes vehicle stop, it won't be as fast. And that's basically it. So you team up with that one and the Pathfinder, which lets you shoot longer without overheating. And this has been, I got in a video. So this has been another video from JCK22. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you like this video if you enjoyed it. Favorite it. Subscribe and goodbye.